Take your power with you with this portable power station and solar charging panel. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and you never know when you might lose power, but there are also plenty of situations where you would like to bring power with you. So you might be camping, you might be in the backyard, and you just want to power a device or two. Enter this. This is the EnoFlow 300 watt portable power station, and it has a whopping 61,600 milliamp hour battery inside of it, so that's 20 times the battery on your phone. And has a smart LCD screen you can see here, and in the front you can see that there are all sorts of inputs. There are two USB-A plugs that are 5 volts or 3.1 amps, one USB-C plug that's a 12 volt, 1.5 amp, two 110 volt, 300 watt AC outlets. There are two DC outputs, one that's 12 volts, eight amps, and one that's 24 volts, three amps, one 12 volt car port, also known as a cigarette lighter, 12 volts or eight amps, and one wireless Qi charger on the very top. So there's a lot you can do with this device, but at its most fundamental, you can plug things into this and power them. Now, they also sent me this. This is their EnoFlow YT 60 watt solar panel. And this is a much simpler device. It basically has these photovoltaic sheets on it and they're all connected, it folds up nice and neat. And then there's a unit on the back here and this gives you DC, USB-C, and two USB-A ports. So the intent is that you can use this to charge this if you're in a pinch, but you can also use this by itself to, for example, charge your phone. What would that look like? It would be as simple as me taking a phone like this Google Pixel and plugging it into the USB-C port. Now, it's not gonna charge right now because obviously I don't have it open and obviously I don't have any sunlight on it. It actually can work in ambient sun rather than direct sun, but they're way more efficient when you have sun beaming on them. So here's what that looks like. So here's direct sunlight on the solar panel that I have plugged in to the portable power station. To be candid, you have to have a lot of patience for this to work. Solar does not generate a lot of power in the same way that the electrical plug on your wall does. So <laughs> if you want to use the solar panel to charge your phone or another device, then you probably want to put it in the sun and just leave it for four, five, six hours. To use this to charge this up is a much more complicated process because it's really slow. In fact, the portable power station itself recommends a 100 watt solar panel, but this is a 60 watt solar panel. The trade-off there is that the more wattage the solar panel can generate, the bigger the solar panel has to be. And as you can see here, this one is more or less the size of a laptop. It's actually 39 inches fully open times 15 or by 15 by 9 tenths of an inch. So it's pretty portable. It's about four pounds. This is something you could take on a backpacking trip, which would be a game changer, right? So you backpack to some super remote area and then you use this to recharge all your devices or you use this to charge your portable battery packs and then use those as needed to charge other devices or to power lights or whatever. Now, Let's get back to this. So I've told you all the different ports. One of the other things it has is it has a flashlight capability. So there's a couple of different options here. And that, as you can see, it's not super bright, but that's perfectly great if you want to have a light in your tent. So you could use this. And then, of course, I can always use that while I have my phone on top doing some quick wireless charging, if that's what I want. Um, so it is great for RVs, camping, obviously any emergency situation, it's really helpful. But one of the things that I was really curious about when I got this was just how much power can this thing push out? So you have all those specs, but I wanted to actually test it. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in 
my MacBook Pro. So I got a really long wire here, but I'm gonna plug it into the 110 volt port here. And then I'm gonna, let's see, I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna turn it on and then plug this in. And the actual display shows how much wattage is being drawn. So at this point, it's zero as you would hope. But once I grab my MacBook Pro and plug that in, one of the interesting things about the Max is it can actually tell you how much power it's receiving. So let's double check on the front here. So it should be, I think I have to push this button to turn on the AC, there we go. And so now on the top of the display, it'll tell me how much power the plug is drawing. So that is plenty enough for a full charge, but now I can go onto my Mac and I can go into a piece of software and look at how much wattage is actually coming into the computer. It's 100 watts, so I'm getting a full charge capability out of this, and that's fantastic because, again, let's say I had gone on a backpacking adventure and I dragged this with, maybe I'm car camping. It's a bit much to be putting on a backpack. But so I'm car camping and I'm in the middle of nowhere and I really want to, like, recharge my MacBook or my computer or some other device that takes a lot of power. This thing absolutely can handle it. And on the front, you can see it's now showing... A, 100 watts, 99 watts, so it sort of moves around a little bit. That's very typical of devices, but it is charging away. And while that's happening, now let's see if I can also plug in and charge this phone. So, you know, this is like having a tiny little power station just available. So I'm going to plug this into the USB C. So now the phone is charging. It takes a little while. I guess this thing's negotiating how it's distributing power internally, but we got it working. So I'm charging my computer and I'm charging the phone at the same time. Now, theoretically, I could actually use the solar panel. I could have it a little bit away, tilted perfectly so that I can actually get maximum sun. And I could be charging this while I was doing that and maybe have a second phone right here on the Qi wireless charging. Now, for this unit, it does have a couple of charge options because ideally you charge this fully before you leave for your campground or you keep it charged up so if there's an emergency. So this is the wall plug for it and it also has actually a 12 volt adapter so you could plug it into your car on your way to the campground, for example. It comes with lots of boxes, but what I also wanna show you is, let me just put my computer over here. So number one, the solar panel has built-in stand, so it makes it really easy when it's fully open. There's one on each end, so that makes it real easy to work with. But this comes with this case, and in the case is a whole bunch of plugs and adapters. So they have really given you a lot of options for devices that you can charge from the solar panel. It also has, again, a 12 volt adapter. And in fact, what they recommend is that you plug this into the solar panel and this into the portable power station and let it pull in the actual power from the solar panel to charge this device. Not sure why they opted for this of all the different possible cables, but it does have other cables. So there's probably other ways you can configure it. But I gotta say, this is a really cool setup. This has a maximum 300 watts, so it's not gonna work with your microwave or toaster or space heater, but there's so many devices that it will work with just fine. It would kind of work with the fridge. I think it would work with the small fridge, but the problem with refrigerators is when you first plug them in, they take a significant chunk of power to start up, and then they'll, their running rate might be lower than 300 watts. In fact, it should be but that doesn't mean this will get your fridge online in an emergency. You might need an even bigger one than that, but this certainly is enough you could have. You could use it for illumination, but you could also plug in a light. You could probably plug in a television and see if you can get any emergency reception. So in an emergency situation with its little handles, this is an easy way to carry power with you, and it's a significant amount of power. So it, let's see, 
is 12 inches by 8 inches by 7.5 inches. It's six and a half pounds. So it's certainly very portable, especially <laughs> with these portable handles. Honestly, it looks like a little boom box or something. Let's unplug this at this point. So, you know, it looks like I have a little radio, but it's actually far more useful than that. So that's really what I wanted to share with you. So this is the power station. This is the solar panel. This, I will say, is 18 volts, 60 watts maximum. And it's, they say, six to seven hours for a full charge on this. I gave it a couple hours in direct sun and got a little bit of charge. It's a little tricky because the screen here doesn't give you an overall percentage of charge. It just gives you that battery icon. So it's hard to tell if you go from 37 to 42, it's hard to tell whether you're gonna increment up to the next box or whether you're gonna stay in that original box. So that was a little hard from a testing perspective. And then these are actually microcrystalline silicon, which are up to 20.5% efficient. You want them to be as perpendicular to the sun as possible. Again, if we go back to this photo, you can see that I have adjusted it so that it's pointing directly at the sun at that moment in time. It is IP68 waterproof, so if you have it all set up and there's a little drizzle or something, you don't have to stress about it. And I've already given you the dimensions. So that's what I got. If you're worried about power or you just wanna have a nice backup or out of your campground or in your RV or something, this is a really cool device. And then this is a really nice setup with the two of them. And this you can use separately, of course. I can just use this, plug in my phone, go for a nap, come back, and my phone's gonna have more charge. Really kind of amazing, because you know there's no batteries involved. It's just taking energy from the sun. How cool is that? So, definitely one to check out, just so that you're prepared. Now, I am gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications, and if you thought this was a value, I definitely appreciate a thumbs up. Great, this, is the EnoFlow 300 watt portable power station, and it is $167.99, currently $109.99 at amazon.com. It's a pretty good price for insurance the next time that there's a power outage. And then this is the EnoFlow YT60W solar panel, and it is $89.89, currently discounted down to $56.99. Honestly, you know, you might just get this and just keep this in your house so that in the case of a long-term power outage, you could at least keep your phone charged as long as there's sunlight. But ideally, you get both of them and you're set, whether you're on the road, whether you're camping or hiking, or whether you just want to make sure that when there is an emergency, you're not the one that runs out of power and has everything go bad. That's what I got. Hope to catch you in my next video.